Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how to make a connection in TripPipe using Drillsoft HDX Plus Batch Mode feature. Oh. We have a pre-configured well open. We'll go into configuration to see the, the casing. So the water depth is a thousand feet and we have casing from a thousand to eighteen hundred feet then open hole from eighteen hundred feet to four thousand nine hundred feet. So we'll close this and we'll go into before we go into batch mode we'll first enable surgeon swab so we that we can see the effects of surgeon swab as we trip pipe so we go into tools batch mode and I've already prepared a schedule uh, we'll have connection circulate 500 gallons per minute for one minute uh, we'll hold 2700 psi at 4,900 feet and then we'll trip from 1,710 feet to 1,800 feet for four minutes and holds 2,700 psi at bottom hole then we'll go into connection we'll trap 2,700 psi at bottom hole and then we'll wait for a minute and then we'll trip again from 1,800 to 1,890 for four minutes then we'll during that process, however, we'll hold even lower pressure. Well, this time we can change it to 2,670. We can also, instead of holding anchor point, we're also able to hold uh, well, well head control or we're able to do standby pressure control. But for this case, I've decided to go with uh, anchor point pressure. Uh, next, we'll trip from 1,800 to 1,890 while holding 2,670 psi. We'll go into connection again for, for 30 seconds, uh, circulate at 100 gallons per minute, trap 2,670, wait for one minute, then we'll do our final trip from eight, 1,890 to 1,980 feet for four minutes while holding that 2,670 psi at bottom hole. Um, all we have to do now is just hit start, make sure um, Surgeon Swab is enabled, and we can start. You can also see the trends in the background. Go to the top, so we're tripping. We can see the pipe moving here and the bit depth changing. Then we'll go into connection mode and start circulating. Yep, 100 gallons per minute. And we're waiting for one minute, then we'll trip again. And we'll see the pipe moving. We're trip right now we're tripping to 1890 feet while holding 2670 psi back pressure. And we'll we'll start circulating at 100 gallons per minute then wait for one minute and then do our final trip to 1980 feet while holding 2670 psi here at any point we can go ahead and see our report however this is finished so we can pull up our our batch mode report. We can see the different stages. First off, stage one where we circulated, we trapped the pressure. Stage two, uh, we trip from 1,710 feet to 1,800 feet. You can see what the mud weights were, the surface back pressure, bottom hole pressure, ECD, uh, volume, and what kind of control parameter we were using. For this case, we're, we're only using anchor point pressure. And then, once the trip is done, we'll, we'll circulate for 100 gallons per minute for, for one minute, and then go in and we'll, we'll wait. And during the wait period, we're not circulating. And we'll begin tripping again on stage five. Uh, we're tripping from 1,800 feet to 1,890 feet. 
uh, we can see the ECD is 14.48. We're holding a lower bottom hole pressure. We were initially we were holding 2,700. Now we're holding 2,670 psi. So we see the impact of that. Uh, then once we trip to 18, 1,890, we'll circulate for 30 seconds at 100 gallons per minute. Then wait for one minute. And then we'll begin tripping in the final stage. We'll trip from 1,890 feet to 1,980 feet while holding 2,670 psi. You can see what the ECD is. And this report is by minute, so we'll be able to see detailed information here. As with all of our reports, these, this batch mode report is also exportable to Excel, PDF, or Word. Now we can go back and analyze our trends data. And we'll go back to the beginning here. We were circulating for 500 gallons per minute. Then we stopped circulation and we began tripping. We were tripping from 1710 to 1800 feet. Then we stopped tripping and we began circulating at 100 gallons per minute. Then waited for one minute. This was 30 second circulation. This was a one minute wait. And then we trip from, we trip while holding 2,670 psi at bottom this time. Here we were holding 2,700, now we're holding 2,670 psi at bottom. So we trip for four minutes, and then here we begin circulating for 30 seconds at 100 gallons per minute. And we have our waiting period here and then we make our final trip down to 1,980 feet while holding 2,670 psi back pressure. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please uh, leave a comment or hit like and please subscribe to our channels. Um, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.